All right, Tempest Ronin back with this Shami deck, hoping to do better. That last Druid was a little too much on my face. Uh, I don't have that many taunts. I've got one. Just one. Oh. Well, it's not that bad. Because we tend to have the ability to keep creatures on the field. But when our opponent ignores our creatures and keeps hitting our face, it can be a little difficult. Come on, where's my opponent? Thrall and we've got a mage! You asked for it. For Doomhammer! All right, Totem, come back later. You too, Sunwalker. All right, we got a two, we got a one, we got a four. Can we get a Harvest Golem? No, we cannot. Good enough, though. Good enough. Mono Worm. Plus coin. Plus what? Leopardon. Where's my fork lightning? It's not here. Hmm. Yeah, I could just take the damage this turn. I would take four. I'll still take four the other way. And next turn I'll only have two mana anyway. to do something with. So I guess that's the best way. Get it off the field. Next turn I was only going to have two mana. I only had two mana cards to play at this point. I have to draw into a Harvest Golem to make what I did bad. And that's a Hex, so that's fine. So we will go with this guy. Now it does suck letting the Leper Gnome hit you twice. That's six damage that card gets to do. Plus the two that will be on the Stalker. But it's um, still a thing, you know? It was a good use of his coin. Flame Cannon! Oh, you bastard! Can't fire elemental, can't play the hungry dragon, so this is the card. And we got a 6-6 six, six for 4 mana. That's pretty good. Fireball? Polymorph? Firemorph? Polyball? What are you gonna do? I know a 6-6 six, six is a little much to deal with. There's the Polymorph. Alright. Well, for 4 mana, Violet Teacher's pretty good play here. So, we finally kill the sh freaking gnome. We got a Hex in our hand and a Lava Shock. So we got 1-1s one coming our way. And that's a pretty good target for Hex. So we go three hex. And the reason I did that was because nothing in my hand is that strong to kill him fast enough. And with his hero power alone, he was probably going to do me like 10 damage. Now we have a board, and he doesn't. And he's going to start pinging away his 1 1s. If that 1-1 one, one does nothing but cost him 2 mana every turn, it's totally worth it. Alright, so... Fire Ellie's probably best here. Can't hit that at all! Instruction begins. And now he's got to be getting a little scared. There's a secret. 
a little bit of a weird time to play a secret. Oh, you should have just run the stalker into it, really. That was kind of silly. But what kind of secret is it? This is the question. I don't want to give him a big card if it's Mirror Entity. So this is the only thing I can really play right now. Not Mirror Entity. If it's Vaporize, this is what we want. It's Ice Barrier! Why would anyone take Ice Barrier? And we'll play this. And we'll break that. I am a little worried about a Flame Strike, but he doesn't appear to have it. If he had it, he probably would have cast it last turn. Oh, Sunwalker, I like seeing you. That's a mirror entity. But we can still break it. That basically, that, that, I, I couldn't give him Cairn, you know, so, wasn't a lot I could do there. But now he's got card draw, that's bad. And he's got a lot of little stuff. A whole lot of little stuff. All right. I think we need to start holding on to cards a little bit. What's the best way to manage these things? I should probably use the Lava Shock to kill the 4-4. Four four. It won't kill it, but the... Um, it would be better to kill it with the Harvest Golem than it would be to kill it with anything else. Everything else should keep its life up. So now we go like this, like this, kill this guy, kill this guy, put out a totem, which was not the totem I was hoping for, and go go care. I was kind of hoping for healing totem, would have been nice. Yes, make room for more of my big creatures. For more totems. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Now, I'm not playing the, the Bloodfin Raptor because I'm still worried about Flame Strike. And it would be nice if I draw a handsome Meccano to have something else to buff in the event of some kind of clearing ability. There's Flame Strike. And that's why I waited. It's a heal bot. I'm so impressed. Oh, mana tide. It's a good, good totem to have. I mean, because that's the last thing he wants to see is for me to keep drawing cards. So he has to get rid of that totem. Or he's practically lost the game. Handle it. Yeah, that was silly. I was going to trade into your 3-4 anyway. 
Or not. Or not. Oh, it's another cairn! <laughs> How bad for him! And the healing totem prevents his hero power from doing anything at all. Wow, you really took a lot of healing things. Anti-kill bot, freaking ice barrier. Um, Stormwind Champion was probably the better play there, but I didn't do it because I'm dumb. I probably don't even need to do this, but I'm gonna. All the totems! All right, mate. Yeah! See? I can play around cards I don't think they have. <laughs> and I completed a daily. I need more wins. I need more wins. Can this shaman deck do it? I hope. It's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. We've had consistent board presence with this deck, which is amazing. I really like it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.